Hello, hello. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> so just wanted to record this quick video. I'm here in the mountain, lonely road ahead. And I'm going downhill, which also means I have to come up very soon as well. It's going to be a little harder, but we're going to make it happen. So making this video for you to share some ideas about speaking, share some ideas and techniques you can use maybe for the next five, six minutes, seven minutes. And yeah, that's it. So for the last, in case you didn't know, my name is Bishal Sarkar. For the last 14 years, I've been training uh, successful leaders and I've been training them to make them powerful speakers um, in their field. I work with CEOs, vice presidents, project managers, doctors, lawyers, um, you know, project managers, vice presidents, entrepreneurs, business people, high level leaders to really amp up their message. And the reason I share this with you is because there are, so let's talk about it. Let's give you five uh, tips for you, to you, for your public speaking success, okay? The first tip is remember, people buy confidence. Write this down, add this to your notes if you want. People buy confidence. And it's really down here. I'm gonna, I have to struggle going up very soon. So you can, it's very down. People buy confidence, which means the first step for you to become a powerful speaker is you have to develop a rock solid confidence level without which it's gonna be a struggle for you all the time. Makes sense to you? There's a car coming. So people buy your confidence level. They want to see if you believe in what you say. So you can have great knowledge, but until and unless people know that you're certain about what you're saying, until and unless people know that how do you know? Like you can come and give a gyan on leadership. You can give gyan on um, time management. You can give a gyan on how to do this project right. But people have to know your credibility. What's your credibility? That gives people confidence. So it's not just your confidence. It's they have to feel confident about you when they know your your credibility points well, not your credentials not like I I have this 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 degree but here is how I know it in the real world okay so <clears throat> that's the first tip the best thing about Vishal Sarkar was his complete course was practical I never been to such a practical course ever in my life the second tip I have for you is let's stop here actually for a while the second tip I have for you is you have to master storytelling. Like no matter what you do, mastering storytelling is a non-negotiable. Like I remember uh, there was one time in my life, um, many years ago it was, I was struggling to uh, give a speech and then I improved my speaking. And then what happened was my, you know, everybody in my father's, uh, my, my father retired at that time, but uh, everybody from, from his colleagues who didn't retire said hey hey mr sarkar we heard your son vishal is a professional speaker we have an event coming up why don't we invite him my father was very happy because he would get to demonstrate his son's skills in front of everybody so i went there and i remember it was the worst speech of my life nobody connected terrible and that's the day i understood something that my previous techniques are important, but I have to update myself with a newer level of techniques. Does that make sense? Let's actually go up because it's going to be a little tough now. Ooh. So you have to master storytelling. That's the, that's the skill that will pay dividends for you for the rest of your life. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Ah. So it drizzled a bit today. So I went out for walking for a long time. I haven't eaten anything in the morning since the morning yet. So the second tip is the storytelling. Ah can you see the slope, man? Woo! Anup, one question. What is the biggest difference do you see in yourself as a speaker overall for the next, last few months? You know, you join the public speaking course, Speakathon, Mastermind. What, what is the biggest difference that you see, the positive difference? <coughs> I think uh, earlier I was reading it, as you remember. The first time, second time I made uh, speeches, I was just reading it. 
uh, on the in the background and then i was reading it point wise the uh, progress and now like you know i make points and try to practice it uh, a bit on those points try to add stories to it uh, and, and and i think it's a confidence which has come uh, so 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 and right. more confidence uh, which comes and uh, uh, you know this has led me to increase my timelines when i'm talking to people or a larger audience or a, or mm. i'm talking to seniors uh, as a, as my uh, you know as as my conversation you know the third tip i have for you is you have to master your voice your voice a lot of people sound weak so when they sound weak what they do many times is they try to sound loud that is not the solution solution is not loudness solution first is strength if you have weak voice you need strength i guess it's like a 60 degree slope ahead 60 degree oh. let's keep doing this voice modulation vocal variety these are important tools sometimes you speed your tone your pitch everything is important uh the second improvement which i made was i could i could easily uh, relate to different vocal tones before i was i was not able to have i used to speak in a single tone but after this i have been using multiple vocal tones which i learned from the sib and which has added a complete dimension to my speech the fourth tip man it's very down it's very much down the road should be like this fourth tip i have for you is you need audience connection audience will not be convinced by you until they feel connected to you there are many connection points but the first fundamental of correct connection is people tend to like you when they feel they are like you people tend to like you when they feel they are like you so instead of showing yourself as completely different than them show yourself as similar to them does that make sense hi hello see he's having fun going down i'm going up so the fifth tip is feedback is the breakfast for champions what i mean by that is none of these works these five techniques if you don't get the right feedback from the right coach all right feedback direction don't do this way do that way you can buy thousands of online courses you can go to hundreds of live events in person retreats physical events you can buy what you want video audio in person everything none of this will work if you do not know how to get the feedback from the people see i have reached the place man it's pretty down there i don't know if you how much you can understand it's pretty down there so these are the five tips i wanted to give you people by confidence storytelling voice mastery connection methodology and feedback oh sweating i've been walking for the last 4 hours now woke up at about 5 so i think 9:30 now hope you have a great time bishal sarkar here and if you want to know more check out this video from one of our batches how people have improved check it out and then see you inside our program bishal sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection check out this video i enjoyed productivity and uh, of course the first uh, role play is excellent and in fact practically i have used that if you remember our pro- our role play i remember I it, 
I used that one, and of course, I I got six clients in last week, and I, I left one. And I left one. Clap it up! I, clap it up for Kanan! <laughs> Amazing. And I left one. If you remember that in our in, in the personal call, you said that sometimes it's the fear we have to leave someone. So I left one. Which is consuming more time for my uh, regular day. So I leave them. I leave them, and I got six more. Life is too short for bad clients and cheap wine. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> this is the same. I don't take wine though, but yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. So you use the techniques, and you got six yes. clients last week. Yes. Yep. Um, I uh, last uh, last ten days back or five days back, I mentioned to you about that uh, speech session. For a preschool parenting session. Yeah, you are supposed to be the speaker. Yes, how did that go? Oh, it went on very great, uh, Vishal. Uh, and you know, actually, which part I did well? Question answer session. <laughs> I uh -huh. run away, run away from that. Let's you know, clap for Kalpana. Let's uh, clap for her. Amazing. So you prepare. How how long was your speech? Uh, Apart, including the Q and A. Uh, including my Q and A and everything, sixty minutes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they wow. wanted to ask more and more. I said, uh, my number is there. You can connect connect to me. Um, mm. So I left the number. And uh, the big part is I was happy that I was able to handle question and session very easily. Very naturally, it was coming for me. So I, nice. was, I was happy. I just finished that uh, speech. And then I joined uh, the session. So I was a little late for the class. Thank you.